wow, I am not shocked. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of felt like um, she was going to do that. And I don't blame her. Um, she even made this man <laughs> make a donation to her charity to support victims. So I, I think it's a win-win all the way around. We did not need to hash this out again. He wasn't going to jail. She was just going to, you know, win. And at this point, they've already said if he did a settlement, it would be like admitting guilt. So there you go. Okay, so I'm being nosy today. Just really wanted to know what had happened. What was the final results of this? Because this is the end of it for the most part, legally. Um, so I'm just going to read through this. Um, and we are on CNN.com. Prince Andrew and Virginia Gouffre agreed to a settlement sex abuse lawsuit. We appreciate you. Who we appreciate? Because it's going down. Go up. Go up. I can't see down. I can't see down. Go up. We appreciate you. Oh, Lord. Lauren DeVal. 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 And Eric Levinson. I know I got it one of them times. I know one of them times. I got to be right. And this was posted today at 12.04. Today is uh, February the 15th. All right. So we have Prince Andrew and Virginia Gouffre have reached an out-of-court settlement in her sexual abuse lawsuit against him. According to a court document filed by Gouffre's attorneys on Tuesday. The parties anticipate filing a stipulation of dismissal of the case within 30 days, according to the letter addressed to Federal Judge Lewis Kaplan. I promise they was wrong for that picture because that picture is what you would imagine him to look like walking out the courtroom after she signed it. <laughs> Of course, the sum of the settlement will not be disclosed, the letter says. Prince Andrew intends to make a substantial donation. Wow, just thought to kind of see up. To Miss Gouffre's charity in support of victims' rights. Prince Andrew has never intended to malign Miss Gouffre's character, and he accepts that she has suffered both as an established victim of a abuse and as a result of unfair public attacks, the letter states. The civil suit stemmed from the sprawling and disturbing allega allegations against Epstein, the wealthy sex offender who befriended a series of powerful men despite a sketchy history. It is known that Jeffrey trafficked countless young girls over many years. The letter continues. Prince Andrew regrets his association with Epstein and commends the bravery of Miss Gouffre and other survivors in standing up for themselves and others. He pledges to demonstrate his regret for his association with Epstein by supporting the fight against the evils of sex trafficking and by supporting its victims. <clears throat> I'm going to get through it. I'm going to just read straight through. And... See, that's the sign right there. In the lawsuit, lawsuit, Gouffre alleged Epstein trafficked her and forced her to have sex with his friends, including Prince Andrew, and that Andrew was aware she was underage in the U.S. at the time. She alleged Andrew sexually abused her at Epstein's private island in the U.S. Virgin Islands, at his mansion in Manhattan, and at his former girlfriend Ghislaine Maxwell's home in London. The prince has repeatedly and flatly denied the abuse. Prince Andrew denies that he was a co-conspirator of Epstein or that Epstein trafficked girls to him. His attorney, Andrew B. Brettler, and Melissa Y. Lerner wrote in a legal filing this month. Oh, last month. I don't know why I said this month. I ain't reading. Last month, Judge Kaplan did not a motion to dismiss the lawsuit. Prince Andrew had been scheduled to give a statement under oath in, on March 10th, a source told CNN last week. The long-running allegations against Andrew, 61, have already dramatically tarnished his public standing. And he stepped back from his um, from royal duties in late 2019. In the wake of the judge's decision decision last month, Andrew was stripped of his military titles and charities. Buckingham Palace announced, "It's getting serious." They said, "This serious." Wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> 
I'm telling you, this grown man in charge of making choices for other people. Got this whole little app or something like that. I don't even know what he was talking about, but talking about the 7 to 14-year-old and then talking about from 5 to 95, whatever he was talking about in that part of the um, interview that he did. I don't uh, yeah, Some kind of program. I don't know. But he shouldn't be in charge of nothing that's got anything to do with influencing or with kids. That's all I'm going to say. Gufre brought her case under the Child's Victim Act. A New York state law enacted in 2019, she was waiting for the date that temporarily expanded the statute of limitations in child sex abuse cases. Epstein pleaded guilty in 2008 to state prostitution charges. Damn, he did? I didn't even know that. I'm telling you, I'm so far removed. I didn't know that. Damn. But I thought he said he was around him in 2010. Man, you is crazy. And in July 2019, was indicted on federal sex trafficking charges. Prosecutors accused him of carrying out a decades-long scheme of sexual abuse of underage girls, flying them on private planes to his pro properties in Florida, New York, New Mexico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. He died by suicide in prison before he could face trial. I mean... That seemed like a revolving circle that solved itself right there. Okay, I thought about it for a second. I should be shamed, but... Mm. Maxwell, his former girlfriend and close associate, was arrested in 2020 and accused of facilitating the abuse scheme. A federal jury co convicted her in December on five federal counts, including sex trafficking a minor. Um, yeah, I ain't got much to say. Like I said, I ain't gonna run my mouth. I ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't going to be about it. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm going to just be quiet. I just wanted to know. So he was like, I don't want y'all to really know. Mind y'all business. So I'm going to go ahead and sign these papers. And I'm going to just make it look like, you know what? She didn't dealt with enough. She's gone through enough things in her life. She's had enough things done to her. Won't need to do nothing else. To her. <laughs> this man, he should be shiny. He should be shiny. Yep, that's all I'm going to say. Bye.